Ah, yes. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Well, I hope everyone's having a beautiful morning. The Goblin isn't. He's been going live off and on all night and into the early morning. He's live right now. And uh, I, I just love when he seeks validation and for somebody to answer him. Hey, uh, hey Wildebeest, uh, see these trolls are pretty funny, huh? Right? Please answer me so I can feel like I'm loved. That's, that's all he does. He sits there, picks and flicks. Oh, he also said his head is getting better. He's working on it. Well, yes, Cyrix, you definitely are working on it. Uh, night and day you are working on it. He actually leans his head over and says it's healing. Actually, it's the worst I've seen it in a while. So I don't know in what world. Now he can't even tell, like, what healing is. That reality has escaped him. Or he thinks maybe he could blow smoke and people are going to um, just not gaze at the bloody divots on the top of his head and just take his word for it. He is a very strange creature of habit. He has been so used to manipulating Sally and probably Ed because he just doesn't want to hear it. All Ed wants to do is sit down with a nice perk and just drift away just wants to drift away. He probably goes somewhere else in his mind. Uh, to live in that house, I don't know how you how you could be sober. It'd be impossible. Um, but he's, you know, now he's blocked his uh, mod, Kitty. Now she's become a troll. Even though he still tried to talk to her after she explained she was underage. And um, uh, there's more than likely more in his mod group that are, uh, either going to say they're underage and just be joking or actually be underage. And Cyrix doesn't see a problem with it. He actually said, So what? I have kids in my chat. So what? He actually said that. Pretty much verbatim. Um, so he has admitted he doesn't see a problem with any of this. Um, therefore, anything he does and we call him out on, and, and if it's deviant perversions towards a, a minor or just a female in general, he's going to think that we're bullying him because in his mind, what he does and what he sends to people is all normal. Um, and he must believe people, normal people, actual normal people in conversation, just, you know, hey, what are you having for dinner, uh, Lucy? Oh, I'm making some macaroons for dessert and I'm going to have some homemade mac and cheese. Oh yeah, well, I'm going to have a, uh, I'm going to have some uh, pasta, too, but uh, alongside some steak. And no hope. Sexy surprise. Here's my peen. Oh, thank you for that. And by the way, I make my own lemonade. Like, do you think that's how conversations go, Cyrex? People just don't whip the schmeckle out right when they're talking to someone. And, and especially when it's not, when no one's asking to see that. Uh, I don't understand that whatsoever. But what it shows me is, is that he has no morals. He has no care in the world. He believes he's untouchable because he's been protected by that bedroom and Sally and behind the computer screen. Cyrix, I challenge you this. Go outside into the normal world. Go outside and talk to a normal person the same way you talk online and see if you don't get smacked right in the scabs. I mean, it's inevitable if you were to do that. Uh, you are in for a rude awakening. If you think making a hundred bucks a month on Twitch is making bank, yeah, a hundred bucks a month, um, it's money, especially when you don't have bills. You can buy your little game passes and your OnlyFans, your eight dollar sessions. But if you had to pay bills, you know, rent, buy food, pay for utilities, do you know what those things are, Cyrex? Or, or do you think a, a roof over your head is just a given? You're not a child anymore, Cyrex which also means you can't talk to children, but yet you still do it and you don't see a problem with it. Now your new excuse is, oh, everything's fake. Everything's fake. And I wouldn't do any of this stuff. None of this is my fault. You guys forced my hand. You guys are the reason, you trolls are the reason that I pull my peen out. And that's what he thinks in his delusional, depraved little mind. It's everyone else's fault, never Cyrex. So he'll probably be up for the next hour playing a shitty little game that he sucks at, blocking people left and right. It's all he does all stream, blocking people, blocking people. I mean, he's had the block mods. He's 
uh, has mods blocking people, but they're really timing people out and the people come back in and, and he just can't figure out how this is happening. He just doesn't understand it. He says he's going to have a Twitch. Well, the, the one Twitch we pretty sure was his is gone. So I'm pretty sure he knows that, but he'll, he'll try to make another one. He doesn't understand what permaban means because as Cyrix says, the rules don't apply to him. Well, Cyrix, yes, they do. And we've proven this every day for years. The rules do apply to you and the trolls they rule you. And yes, they do live rent free inside that disgusting, empty skullet of yours. Enward Boy is your owner, Marty is your father, and the trolls run your social media life. And there's just nothing you can do about that. Being that we don't see you as a person who deserves peace of mind or human rights, being what you did and what you're still doing is inhuman and morally disgusting. And you know that, Cyrix. See, that's why you're picking. It's the stress. And also, needing to remember all those lies. They can't stay inside you anymore. So they seep out and festering on your skin, creating those disgusting potholes you have all over your body. That's karma, Cyrix. Those scabs, that's physical karma all over your body. More to come. Ah, yes.